Hello, welcome to Urban Singh Academy. We are going to discuss uh, today uh, motion in a street light and this is lecture number 8. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 7 before watching this part 8. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some application of whatever the knowledge we have uh, gained from lecture 1 to 7. And we are going to apply today. That means we are going to solve some numericals today. So let us discuss some numerical today. And the numerical is the first numerical I am going to take on from NCRT. A car is moving along a straight highway with the speed of 126 km per hour. With the speed of 126 km per hour is brought to a stop. Is brought to a stop, a stop within a distance of 200 meter, within a distance of 200 meter, distance of 200 meter. What is the retardation of the car? What is the retardation of the car? What is the retardation of the car? The retardation of the car, right? retardation of the car and how long does it take for car to stop and how long it will take how long does it take to car how long what is the rotation and how long does it take for car to stop it will take to stop the car stop the car it means you have to find distance and that is retardation and also time and distance is given that 200 meter so in this question let us solve this question and for solution we can have here the initial speed car is moving in a straight line it is assumed that retardation is uniform a retardation is uniform right now assume retardation is uniform so you have to assume this right now although it is given here in question right so initial speed of the car is 126 km per hour that is u is 126 km per hour so we can write here 126 into 5 by 18 so 18 7 ja this 7 5 ja 35 meter per second to change kilometer per hour in meter per second, we have to multiply by 5 by 18 that we have learned already. And the distance which uh, they have taken to a stop is 200 meter, right? And uh, you have to find retardation. Since uh, car stops, so final velocity must be 0. And then you have to also find time, right? Now. So here, a uh, simple is that u is given x is given v is given so only you can apply uh, v is equal to u plus 80 in that case v is known u is known and t can is a and t both are known so we cannot apply so we can use uh, either v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s only one of the variable involved so using the fact that v square is equal to a square plus 2 a s you have 0 square because final velocity is 0, 35 square plus 2 into A into 200, S is 200, here X or S is the same thing, so I can write here X as well, so this is 200, it means um, we can write 35 square is 1 to 2, 5 and 200 multiplied by 2 is 400 A that is minus this side and a square of this is 1, 2, 2, 5. So A is equal to minus 1, 2, 2, 5 divided by 425 can cancel them 49 times and this can cancel them 16 times, right? Now? Forty-nine by sixteen with negative sign meter per second square. This is the retardation. Negative sign shows that there is a retardation, right? So negative sign shows retardation. Retardation. So retardation h a is equal to forty-nine point sixteen meter per second square. That is retardation. 
which is equal to this. Whenever we write it, retardation, then no need to write negative sign. Now we have to find T. So using the fact that V is equal to also V is equal to U plus AT. So we can write here 0 is equal to U is 35 and A is minus 49 by 16 and time is not known. So we can calculate it like T is equal to 49 by 16 T is equal to 35 and this employee T is equal to 35 into 16 upon 49. 7, 7, yeah, 49 and 7, 5, yeah, 35. So 16, 5, yeah, 80 by 7. That is 1, 7, 1, yeah, 7 and 11 and 7, 4, yeah, 28 and 7, 3, yeah, 21 second approx. Right? Huh? This is the time it will take to uh, come into the rest. So that will be the answer. Now, consider the next question. Right? Two trains of length, two trains of length 400 meter each, 400 meter each. Two trains 400 meter each are moving on, are moving on two parallel tracks, on two parallel tracks, parallel tracks with uniform speed of with uniform speed of speed of 72 km per hour 72 km per hour in same direction in same direction right in same direction with A is ahead of B with A is ahead of B right decides to overtake A, decides to overtake A, overtake A, decides to overtake A and accelerate and accelerate by 1 meter per second square by 1 meter per second square if after 50 second if after 50 second 50 second the guard of B guard of B just brushage past just brushage past the driver of A, the driver of A, what was the original distance between them? Then, what was the original distance between them? What was the original distance between them? Original distance between them. Distance between them. So this is the question. Let me uh, read out once again. Two trains of length 400 meter. Each of are moving on two parallel tracks with uniform speed of 72 km per hour. So initial speed of both the trains because uh, two cars are moving in the same direction and uh, with A is ahead of B. In the same direction with A is ahead of B decides to overtake A. A is ahead of B. B decides to overtake A. Right? Decides B is ahead of B. Decides to overtake A by acceleration of 1 meter per second square. Right? So clearly B is ahead of a is ahead of B. Some direction A is ahead of B. The driver of B decides to overtake A. The driver of B decides decides to overtake A accelerates by 1 meter per second square. This is what given. If after 50 seconds guard of B just 
crosses the driver of A, the guard of B just crosses the past driver of A, then what was the distance between? So let us discuss this question. Uh, in first case, it is given here for solution velocity of A is equal to velocity of B is equal to 72 km per hour. That is 72 into 5 by 18 meter per second. That is 20 meter per second. 18 for the 70. So 20 meter per second. Since A is moving with uniform velocity and B is has accelerated most. Since train A has uniform motion, uniform motion. Therefore, distance traveled by. Therefore, distance traveled by train A. Travel by train A in fifty seconds. In fifty seconds is just s is equal to x is equal to given by x is equal to speed into time this into 50 that is 1000 meter okay now for b here v and vv are the velocity of train a and train b respectively you understood it now uh, initial speed of velocity of b is uh, 20 meter per second and acceleration is 1 meter per second square time is given also 50 seconds right so the distance travel is ut plus half at square you can use it distance x2 and this distance is said as x1 right now so distance travel by second car is ut plus half at square it means u is 20 t is 50 plus half into a is 1 and t is 50 into 50 that may cancel 25 times 20 into 50 is 1000 plus 25 into 50 is 1250 that is 2250 meter initially uh, the distance between the two trains are what suppose this is a train a right train a let me draw the diagram from here only say uh, this one is train a train a and this one is train B. Again, there is a train, similar train, right? And they are moving on two parallel tracks. Say A and B. Wait, wait. Both are moving. So the distance between them, the here is a driver A, driver of A was moving here and driver of B was moving there and guard G2, guard of train 2 and guard of train 1 he is also moving. The distance between guard and driver of them is what? So if you want to write the distance between them then what will happen? Um, that distance will be from guard of B versus the driver of A. So that distance actually have to cover. So this distance can be guard of guard this and driver of A. That distance you have to cover. So basically the distance between them is what is distance? Distance traveled by A. So the distance between them, therefore, we can write here the distance between them. Distance between them is what x2 minus x1 because second one cover 2250 meter so it means 2220 50 minus 1000 that is 1250 meter and that will be the answer of this question remember in this question there is nothing to do with the length of this drainage 400 meter you know because uh, they are asking what is the distance between them them means and between driver of a and guard of b 
so these are two point system point system there is driver is here and guard is there so we have to find the distance between them don't uh, be confused about the length of the trails okay now let us discuss the next question next question from this is what now question number three and this is given that on two lane road on two lane road lane road car age traveling with the speed of the speed of 36 km per hour 36 km per hour right two cars B and C are approaching approaching A from opposite direction opposite direction direction with the speed of a speed of 54 km per hour each at certain instant certain instant instant when a b is equal to a c equal to a c and uh, both are equal to both equal to one kilometer then b decides then B decides to overtake overtake A before C does. What should be acceleration of B? Acceleration of B to avoid avoid collision. Accident, accident. Right. This is the question. Now uh, let us discuss this question. Car is moving. Uh, cars are moving in two directions. Say, this is a one lane and this one is another lane. And uh, on these two lanes, uh, car A is moving. Let us consider for sake of convenience we can use here that car A is here, B is approaching from this direction and C is approaching from this direction. So speed of B and speed of C, speed of A, car A is moving in this direction, C is moving also in this direction while B is moving in this direction. So uh, B and C. Since B has to accelerate, so this uh, to be taken as B and this one is C. Uh, take this one as B. So this one as B and this one as C. Both are one kilometer away. The speed of A. Let V A represent the speed of A that is 36 kilometer per hour. That is 36 into 5 by 18, which is 10 meter per second. And the speed of B and the speed of C is 54 km per hour. That is 54 into 5 by 18, which is 15 meter per second. So the speed of B and C. Now let uh, C is moving in this direction, A is moving in this direction. So one kilometer distance they will cover in T seconds. Suppose in T seconds C will approach to A. Let after T second C will approach to A. Right? So uh, we can go with the concept of relative motion here also. And uh, let me explain a little bit about the concept of relative motion. When two bodies are moving in opposite direction, since A and C are in opposite direction, opposite direction and relative speed of A with respect to C therefore 
velocity of a with respect to c is sum of their speeds that is 10 plus 15 that is 25 meter per second and distance between s h distance a c h what one kilometer that is thousand meter so time taken time taken to cross a and c a and c h distance upon speed that is equal to time for p second now for b since b has accelerated motion b has accelerated motion elevated motion and uh, a has constant uniform motion a has uniform motion uniform motion now relative speed of b with respect to a is 15 minus 10 that is 5 meter per second and acceleration is we have to calculate time is 40 seconds right and distance is 1 kilometer and distance is 1 kilometer so x is equal to ut plus half at square that can be used right now so x is equal to since x is equal to speed v v t that is speed t plus half a t square isn't it so we can use here uh, the distance that is given here is thousand meter isn't it and this is speed is five meter per second time is 40 plus half into a into time is 40 into 40 that can be cancelled 20 times 20 into 40 800 and uh, 800 this is 200 so we can have 1000 is equal to 200 plus 800 a and now this employee 200 will come this side it will be 800 is equal to 800 a and therefore a is equal to 1 meter per second square so that is the acceleration to avoid the accident if acceleration is 1 meter per second square slightly more than 1 meter per second square you can say then before reaching c a will cross the b will cross a and that will be answer of this question so i hope you got it now let us discuss one more question a stone is dropped a stone is dropped from the top of a tower from the top of a tower tower 200 meter in height in height 200 meter in height and at the same time and at the same time same time another is projected is projected vertically upward from the ground vertically upward from the ground from the ground with a velocity of with a velocity of 50 meter per second, 50 meter per second. Find where and when they will meet each other. Find when and where they will meet each other. They will meet each other. Right? This is the question. So, a stone is dropped from height of 200 meter. Height, height is 200 meter and a piece of a stone is dropped so let us discuss this question this is 200 meter height and uh, a piece of a stone is dropped from a a point a a stone is dropped and b is thrown vertically upward with a speed of 50 meter per second a stone is dropped drop means initial velocity is zero initial velocity of a is zero Whereas initial velocity of B, U, B, I can say, 
UV is what? UV is 50 meter per second, right? Okay. So when both of them will collide, in that case, the distance travel say this is the point where both of them will meet each other, right? So when both of them will meet each other at this point, then and the distance travel by A and distance travel by B will be same. Isn't it? So we know for first distance x is equal to u t plus half a t square. So for A, for A, x A is equal to 0 into t plus half into A, A is 9.8 because and t square. So this is 4.9 t square. For B, distance travel by B is equal to what? And both the sums is equal to B is travel distance and that will be equal to 50 into T minus half into 9.8 into T square. That is 50 T, 50 T minus 4.9 T square. And uh, you know the distance travel by A and distance travel by B each um, equal to 200 meter. So according to question, distance travel by A and distance travel by B is equal to plus distance travel by B not equal but total is 200 meter. So what is that? Um, 4.9 T square plus 50 T minus 4.9 t square is equal to 200 meter this and this cancel 50 t is equal to 200 meter so t is equal to 4 second so after 4 second they will meet each other and distance travel is equal to if you put any one of them so t is equal to 4 4 4 they are 16 16 into 9 what will be that putting in one from first distance can be written as distance travel is equal to distance travel from top or distance travel from bottom you can calculate so distance travel from top x a is equal to if i put here x a is equal to 4.9 into 16 16 minus 44 144 and carry 14 16 4 yeah, 64 and 14, 80. So 80.4 meter from the top and 119.6 meter from the bottom that is, is the distance 119.6 meter from the bottom they will meet each other. I hope you got this point right. So in this lecture this is all about and we will discuss uh, some more questions further whenever they reach. So that's all in this uh, lecture, uh, we will see you in the next class, till then uh, keep watching and God bless you. Thank you very much, God bless.